in this video I'm going to talk about how we can compare uh, two data by uh, from looking at the summary statistics of two uh, population now so let's read the question your waiting times are to be compared for two medical centers so this is center A and this is center B and this is the summary statistics or the sample statistics for center A and center B okay patients are chosen at random at each center and a record taken for the number of minutes each patient waited past the appointment to see the doctor. The results are shown in the table. So you can read the statistics. So minimum is for some center A is 12, maximum is 31, 15, 32 respectively, 20, 21 and so on. I've drawn the box and whisker for center A and center B. So you can see this is 12, this is 31, this is lower quartile, median, upper quartile. So here uh, you can see there is a median shift of five minutes. Okay, and uh, other thing that I, you can say is the median of center B is almost the same as the upper quartile of center A. Okay, so we want to use informal confidence uh, interval to decide about the population for center A and center B. So what are we trying to say is this is only a sample of 40 patients uh, chosen randomly at center B and this is a sample of 50 from center so this is from center A and this is from center B this, this difference in sample size is not going to make any difference in your conclusion or in our conclusion because any sample greater than 30 is a good should give you a good representation of the complete population. So what we are going to say, uh, do is, we are going to answer this question, is there a significant difference in the waiting time uh, for center A and center B? Okay, so for that we need to find the informal, informal confidence interval. Now this is a formula for informal confidence interval where uh, the formula is like this, sample median minus 1.5 times interquartile range over square root of n where n is the sample size so let's write uh, first uh, apply the formula and then I'll explain what it means so what's the sample median we are talking for center A so for the sample median for center A uh, so the median for center A is 22 so we'll use that for, uh, 22 years so sample median for center A is 22 minus 1.5 times interquartile range which is the difference between the upper and the lower quartiles so here the interquartile range is 7 okay so that is 27 minus 20 is 7 okay so times 7 divided by square root of 40 okay so that's the sample size for center A is less than the population the population median for center A, I'll write A only like this, is less than 22 plus 1.5 times 7 divided by square root of 40. So let's use a calculator. So this is uh, 1.5 times 7 uh, divided by shift square root of 40 which is, I'll say, 1.7, rounding into one decimal point is 1.7. So this is 22 minus 1.7. So let's first do the calculation. Is less than the population a median for center A. For center A is less than 22 plus 1.7. So what are we saying now? This is an interval. This is a confidence interval. So instead of saying that by looking at the median of center A to make a judgment that the center B has a median time of 22 minutes would be unfair because you have got only a sample of 40. And from that sample, instead of saying that the population, the uh, median waiting time for central A is 22. It's better to talk in terms of a 
a bigger interval and that's called the confidence interval so let me drag this a little down so what does this mean so this is let me change color so this is 22 take take away so 22 take away 1.7 which is 20.3 so this is 20.3 is less than the population median for center A for median for center A is less than 23.7 so what does this mean this means that for center A the median waiting time for the whole population is between 20.3 and 23.7 so we can say that in center A there is instead of saying 20 it is between 20 20.3 uh, 20 and 23.7 that is we can say it's very likely that center A has a median waiting time between 20.3 minutes to 23. Point seven minutes so that is with it's very likely okay so let's do the same process for center b for center b the median is what's the median the median is 26 okay interquartile range is also is seven there so that is 26 minus 1.5 times interquartile range is seven but the sample size is square root of 50 okay so less than this is population median for center for center B is less than 26 plus 1.5 times 7 divided by square root of 50 so let's get the calculator out so this is uh, 1.5 times 7 divided by shift square root of 50 that is rounded to this is 1.5 so this is 26 minus 1.5 minutes less than I'll write do here to save time is less than 26 point 26 plus 1.5 so here for population B we can say this is 24.5 am I right yeah 24.5 is less than let me write population median for center B is this is 27.5 so we can say we can make a judgment or statement that it is very likely it's very likely that the population median for the waiting center for the uh, medical center B has a waiting time of 24.5 minutes to 27.5 minutes so let us show that on the median box okay so that's called the informal confidence interval for center a it is between 20.3 and 23.7 so this is 20 this is 20 so this is say 20.3 roughly okay so this is 20.3 to uh, 23.7 so this is 23 and this is 23.5 so this is 23 okay and this is 23.5 so 23.7 will come somewhere here so this is the informal confidence interval for center a that means we can say that with almost absolute certainty that uh, the median waiting time for center A is between these two interval or these two values that is 20.3 and 23.7 whereas for center B it is between 24.5 so 24.5 where would 24.5 come so this is 24 and this is 25 so this is 24.5 somewhere here and 24.5 and 27.5 27.5 okay so that is this is 27 and this is 27.5 so looking at the confidence interval for median of these two centers what what is that we can see okay so this is the informal confidence interval for center b okay so looking at these this these let me 
Yeah, so this is fine. So this is 27.5. This is 27.5. So here you can see there is no overlap. Okay, so I'm going to make uh, the final conclusion. Yeah, so I'll now type my conclusion here. Yeah? So I'm going to conclude my conclusion is uh, is that looking at the informal confidence confidence interval for median of center a and b as there is no overlap uh, I can conclude or we can conclude that uh, the median waiting time for center B for center B center B is greater than the median waiting time for center A. Okay, now one, uh, one of the drawback of this conclusion or something which is uncertain is that we don't know how the sample was, con uh, was, calc uh, was collected. But if uh, there was fairness in collecting the data, if there is no mistake in collecting the data, this decision or this conclusion is I think valid because you can see this is there is no overlap so here we can see that center B has got greater waiting time than center A.